Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Linux Mint 11 LXDE. Um, this is um, the release candidate. Um, not too long ago I did um, a, a bit of a first look on um, the GNOME version. Um, I wanted to do a um, quick review of the LXDE version because I believe it is um, really good for old machines. Um, say you have an old Pentium 4 or even a Celeron, you know, lying around the house. Um, I believe this would be a very good distribution to install on the machine. Um, it only requires um, 256 um, megabytes of RAM um, according to the website. Um, I personally recommend doubling the recommended um, specs. So it recommends 256, the would recommends 512 and it um, claims that it will only take 3 gigabytes of um, disk space. You know, um, most older computers, um, you know, most older computers have at least, you know, 60, 80 gigabyte hard drives depending on um, how far back you go. Um, though, yeah, I highly recommend installing this if you want a very um, fast, snappy system, um, specifically on older computers. Um, the one bad thing about um, this version is I believe it um, only comes in a 32-bit version at the moment. Um, you probably you probably wouldn't want it on, you know, a gaming machine with, you know, 8 gigabytes of RAM or quad-core processor. You know, same to the older machines. Um, so I'm not sure whether or not they will be releasing a 64-bit version. Um, but let's take a look at um, some of the default applications. Um, just, um, it feels really fast. I just want to say it feels really fast. It didn't take long to boot. I am booting off um, the live um, CD or from the ISO image, I should um, say. And I really like the menu. Um, as you can see, it's um, very fast, very snappy, very clean. Um, you know, this um, distribution or this um, version of Linux Mint would appeal to a lot of people um, just for its um, simplicity, ease of use, um, overall speed. So let's take a look at um, some of the default applications. Um, we have Catfish, um, which um, seems to be a file search application. And it looks um, very um, functional. You can type in, um, you know, a term. Let's see if I type in home and click find. Well, nothing was found there. I was hoping I would find the home folder. So if you have a file on the computer, um, you should easily be able to search for the folder uh, or the file and specify whether it needs to be an exact match, whether it's a hidden file, etc. What type of file it is. Oh yeah, this was um, just um, searching the cat, um, fish um, folder, I believe. Um, Though, you know, it looks like a very um, useful application. Uh, we have a character map. Um, these always um, come in handy, you know, if you need um, the copyright sign or, you know, something like that. Uh, the file manager. Okay, PC Man FM. This must um, be the file manager. Um, you know, it looks pretty um, clean, pretty easy to navigate. You know, it has all of the functionality um, that you need. You have a calculator, you know, basic mode, scientific mode, paper mode. Uh, let's see, you have G-Edit, which is, you know, more or less a text editor. And it's also got tabs, which is um, pretty nice. Uh, we have an image um, viewer, and you can also use it to rotate by the looks of it. Uh, and it has LX Terminal as the terminal application, and I always love it when they have um, these different quotes in the terminal. Um, and we have this um, screenshot utility. You know, you can zoom in and zoom out and, you know, shoot, take a screenshot. You know, it's pretty nice. Um, it's a basic screenshot utility. Um, and XF Burn, it's a CD and DVD burning application. I'm not sure if that's going to open up or not. Uh, we have, um, you know, the GIMP, GIMP image editor and simple scan. For internet, we have um, Dropbox, which I, I always like it when they include Dropbox, you know, straight out of the box. Excuse the pun, pardon the pun. 
Oh yeah, it's got no burners, that's why it was taking a while to open up. Though, you know, this looks like a pretty functional program as well. Uh, we have Firefox, let's see, um, it looks like Firefox 5. Oh no, my mistake, Firefox um, 4.0.1. There might be an update to Firefox um, 5 available. I haven't um, tried updating it, obviously, since I'm running it off of the live city. They have Pigeon by default. Uh, they must have Java 6 already installed, Thunderbird, um, you know, transmission for BitTorrent files, XChat IRC. Uh, and they have ABR Word and Numeric instead of LibreOffice. Um, I haven't really mucked around with these tools that much, so I believe that they are a lot more, um, you know, lightweight than LibreOffice or um, OpenOffice. Uh, for sound and video, we have Excel, Listen to, Explore or Manage your Audio Collection. Uh, yeah, this looks um, pretty nice. You must um, have all of your music here. Uh, you must be able to add online radio streams, um, playlists, just um, search for files and lyrics, etc. So that looks um, pretty functional as well. Uh, Gnome Alsa Mixer. Uh, yeah, this is um, just a sound mixer. That looks um, pretty advanced. Uh, we have M Player. You know, M Player is okay. We have um, you know, VLC Media Player, which you know always comes in handy. Most of your audio and video files um, should play out of the box. And we have XF Burn. Did we look at that before, or was that a different one? I can't remember. Um, and we have you know all of the usual um, system tools. Um, I won't bore you and um, go through all of those. Uh, we have our preferences here as well. Uh, what's this? Um, the welcome screen. I didn't see the welcome screen when I um, booted in. So yeah, it looks to be the same as the one in that comes up in the known version. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can show you. We have um, a software manager. You know, the same software manager that's in the known version. You know, once again, you know, it's pretty functional. I quite like it. Uh, and yeah, that's um, pretty much it really. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. Um, I highly recommend um, checking this out if you have an older computer that you want to um, bring back to life. Um, it is very lightweight, very fast, um, you know, it's very functional. You know, it's not over the top, you know, it's not, it, it just, um, you know, it feels good. It doesn't feel like it is slowed down by unnecessary um, processes. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you check it out and thanks for watching this video.